We have major breaking news, indeed historic breaking news right now. Manhattan Grand Jury has indicted former President Donald Trump. Trump was under investigation by the DA's office for his alleged hush money payment. Donald Trump is once again at the center of a political storm. No president in the history of our country has been subjected to such vicious and disgusting attacks. It is going to be an enormous media circus, and Donald Trump has already successfully framed it as a illegitimate persecution uh, based on politics, not based on his criminality and his, and his behavior. Republican governors, senators, and members of Congress are lining up to aggressively defend Trump publicly as he faces potential criminal charges, giving him a major boost in his run at the Republican nomination for the 2024 presidential election. Donald Trump would win the Republican nomination from jail. He has conditioned Republican voters for the last seven years that any critique of him is illegitimate. It's been a difficult time for the man widely considered the strongest Republican challenger to Trump, Florida's governor, Ron DeSantis. After Trump first raised the prospect of his imminent indictment, DeSantis took a swing at his political rival. I don't know what goes into paying hush money to a porn star to, to secure silence over some type of alleged affair. I just, I can't speak to that. After a ferocious public backlash from Trump supporters, DeSantis later offered unqualified support, calling Trump's indictment un-American, even stating Florida would not assist in an extradition request. In the short term, while it is expected to boost the support of Trump, among the base, in the long run, when people are making more strategic or more specific considerations for who they would want the, the leader of the country to be, that is when Governor Ron DeSantis, who is likely to be a rival for the president, former president, uh, comes in. I get asked all the time, who is Ron DeSantis? Ron DeSantis is a former Harvard and Yale graduate lawyer who entered the military, providing legal advice in Iraq and at Guantanamo Bay and eventually became a U.S. congressman for Florida. But it was Donald Trump's backing that secured DeSantis's campaign to become Florida governor in 2018, though Trump mocks him for it now. Sir, if you endorse me, I'll win. Please, please, sir, endorse me. In 2020, Governor DeSantis got national and international attention for rejecting federal health advice for statewide lockdowns and vaccine mandates. And we did it when it wasn't popular. We did it when we were taking fire. And I really believe, had Florida not led the way, this country could look like Canada or Australia. He's now moved into an even more combative persona. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is your governor speaking. Today's training evolution, dogfighting, taking on the corporate media. Ron loves playing with the kids. Build the wall. A lot of his political persona has been built around being almost a mini Trump or his mentee. Donald Trump and, and Ron DeSantis are two very different kind of people. And I think it's a, it's, it's, it does both of them a disservice for people to say, oh, that they, they're, from, they're broken out of the same mold. As governor, he's introduced new laws giving parents the right to object to teaching about sexuality and race at school. We will never ever surrender to the woke mob. Our state is where woke goes to die. As a result, books about the history of civil rights have disappeared from classroom shelves. Now he's pushing to eliminate diversity and equity courses at universities and colleges. The thing that's been most useful for Ron DeSantis is his full-scale embrace of this Republican and, and MAGA culture war. The most controversial measure restricts teaching about gender in schools via a parental rights and education bill, which opponents have dubbed the Don't Say Gay Bill amid major protests. Well, it's not the Don't Say Gay Bill. In fact, you can say gay. There's nothing in the legislation that says you can't. So it's an actual total and complete misnomer. What it did was prevent these issues regarding gender identity and radical gender theory from being included as part of the official mandatory state issued curriculum between the ages of three to eight. Charles Moran, seen here at a Mar-a-Lago reception to honor Melania Trump, is the president of the Log Cabin Republicans, 
which has represented gay rights in the Republican Party for five decades. So I don't consider these bills, quote, homophobic. I, ca- I consider them being written by people who have a, you know, I think a good intent, but they are poorly informed. Late last year, Ron DeSantis was leading Donald Trump in a major poll. Now he's behind, and it's not clear when he'll announce a run for the Republican nomination. DeSantis has really been trying to carve a lane, be someone like Trump, but in, without the baggage, with a more competent uh, way of leadership. He is a person who has seized the opportunity here to play a character of this culture warrior for the American uh, Republican MAGA base in the hopes that it will catapult him to the presidency. Th- this is all a fake. This is all a show. He believes in power. He believes in authority, but he doesn't believe in any of the things he's using to get there.